This is our Brother PE800, and I've been using it for a little while. I've got a little bit of experience in on it, and so far, I really like the results it's producing. I'll show you around the machine a little bit. Here's where you keep your thread, and you have the bobbin winder here, so you would put your bobbin on there, and then you would set it into a different mode, click this to the side, and then whenever you start the machine, it's gonna wind up the bobbin, and then you can put that down in the bottom of the foot. And then this is where you run all the thread through the needle. And one of my favorite things about this machine, well, probably like, my favorite part is probably that it does embroidery, but something that makes it really easy is this lever right here that automatically threads the needle. So you don't actually have to feed the needle through the eye. You just bring the thread into the right spot. You put this lever down and it feeds it through the eye. I think that's really cool and I've never seen that before. I'll show you just how simple this is. If I loop it around number six right there, and then go up to where it's labeled number seven, and then there's a little blade right there, you can cut it off, push down the lever, and it threads it right through the eye. Then you just pull it through the eye, and you're done. I have an SD card here with some files on it that I'm gonna run through. With it plugged in, I click on the USB button, and you wanna go right here, I have the G-code file, and I'll click set. This is your edit menu where you can move it around, make it bigger, smaller, rotate it. It's fine where it is right now, so I'm just gonna click end edit, and then next what I'll do is click embroidery. To get it to go, I just bring that claw foot down and click the green arrow and it'll start to run. You can see this does a really good job and I really like how it turns out. I'm gonna run a second job right below it and film it in time lapse so you can see what it looks like sped up. In that edit menu, I can select right where I want it to start the embroidery. Every once in a while in the middle of a job, it will lose the thread and you need to re-thread it. It's really simple, you just run it through that path again. What's really nice is that it knows exactly when it lost the thread and then you just resume it and it's that easy. I'll show you how to thread it, it's really easy. I just loop it around here and you just follow the directions there are. So step number one, come down around here. Step number two, down through here. Step number three is up here. Now in step number four, you need to get it hooked in right on that arm so it loops around the little hole. And then you bring it right back down to number five. And then number six right there. And then right up here to number seven. And then a the little knife right there that cuts it. Bring this up to the top and thread it. When you move it by hand, something that's really cool is it, it knows each movement up and down. So if I move it down into the thread and I bring it back up, it automatically moves to the next step. So you could basically do this, in whole, this whole embroidery by hand, just like that, which I think is really cool. So if you need to do it manually, you wanna do it real slow in a certain spot, you can just take a look at that, make sure everything's going well. Once you know that it is, I'll resume. Now that time, whenever I ran the job, one problem that I had was the string would keep pulling out of the top end. And I figured out what the problem was, at least I think it didn't happen again once I did that so far. What I had, I actually had the string wrapped around this, this guide right here, which for some reason I thought it wrapped it around there. You use that whenever you're winding the bobbin, but I thought that's something you need to go around whenever it's going through the loop. But in fact, you don't need to use this at all when you're doing normal sewing. And I think what it was doing was kind of adding more drag to it. It would kind of get caught on that. And then whenever there was tension being pulled on the thread, it would pull it out. 
and it would pull it out of the pin there. So I think that's what the problem was. I haven't had it happen since then. So it starts straight from the roll of, of thread and then just loops straight around. And I think that fixes the problem I was having. This just pops out of the carriage. It's held in kind of like sometimes how picture frames are held up where it slides in on two pegs and then it's held with a spring that has pressure on those pins. And these both look really nice. The first one we did where the string didn't pull out looks the best and then the one I was having some problems with doesn't look quite as nice. And then these little loose strings here you just snip off with some scissors. And the back also looks pretty nice. It's pretty clean, pretty tidy. If you wanted to, you could snip off some of the strings, but I don't see a problem with it. My overall first impression of this machine is really good. It's really easy to use, like things like the auto threading needle, like that's something that makes it really easy and the instructions are very clear. Sometimes whenever you think of a CNC machine, you would think it'd be really complicated, but they really made this super simple, really easy to use. Even if you haven't really had any experience before with CNC, it helps if you have a little bit of knowledge of sewing in, in that instance. So if something goes wrong or just in the setup, it makes everything a little bit easier, but I've been able to do some cool stuff and I can't wait to do some more projects with it.